I want to talk about something that I bought multiple years ago and I for a while regretted that I had bought because I thought wow this is not really what I wanted and then I realized that I actually ended up quite liking it at the end and I'm talking about this item that I helped kickstart in 2014 or 2015 this is the Nomad Art Satchel and it's uh, it's it was marketed as this idea of of creating anywhere and it's it's essentially just a messenger bag that you can open like so and it has these elastic bands that you can attach any kind of material to and they also have you know so you can have a sketchbook and then you can have the necessities and I think that initially when I got it I, I packed it so heavy with so many things that essentially I mean even now just with a thick sketchbook for my big ideas for my thick ideas it, it can barely close the, the waterproof the choice they made for to keep it sealed means that it really can't expand and they you know have this universal inner pocket but it actually sh it shares the inner space with the with the it with the interior here which means that if you actually put a couple of things in it uh, you are gonna have an even, even harder time closing it and so when I dumped all the stuff in it and I suddenly had this heavy messenger bag with a strap that while useful in the context when you're switching it around uh, and you're like going from you know just having a messenger bag to a, a, basically a desk anywhere that you can work with and, and draw from uh, like you know you kind of like want like something that's a bit more comfortable and, and i think like because you, you have this idea of you're creating you know you're having this big outdoor studio space that you just carry with you anywhere you end up you know just taking way too much stuff and and that's why i ended up not liking it and, and just leaving it kind of to be but then I thought I spent, you know, money on this, and I don't necessarily want to just get rid of it because I think there's still some uses. I think that the idea of having a, you know, a, a desk that you can just have attached to you and you can sit anywhere. I'm not going to use it just in my current location because I'm already sitting. But it's more of akin to well, okay, what 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 does that give you? And my I, my thoughts about this bag changed a lot when I came to the conclusion that I don't need to bring very much because I had started to just carry a small sketchbook and a pencil uh, with me as like a sort of an everyday carry for any kind of thing that just comes by but then when I started having this idea of I need to split my workspaces up into multiple functions than having this you know contain just like a few pencils and then I just go out and I'm observing that I'm ready to receive the world uh, and that that clarity and function of saying well okay I'm 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 using this not as necessarily a way to bring my whole studio outside because it is not built in such a way that you can actually fit you know all those art supplies inside it. it 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 just it's like it's like too strong a sandwich you just you would freak out it, it freaks out in your mouth and so just having a minimalist decision right like i feel like uh, if i had to like rate it i probably wouldn't wouldn't have really have gotten it i would just have made this contraption of having a a, a band you can make this out of any uh, strap for uh, a camera strap for instance and then you just drill a hole into uh, a piece of masonite and then you just some double-sided tape and and you will have something that is just as sturdy and and you know will carry about just as many pencils as this actually can uh, and then you have that and you can, they can easily fit inside a messenger bag on an A4 format and then you would you know you would have an actual bag with you and because usually if you're going out and about, you, you want to carry a bit more stuff, but just carrying you know this on its own and saying I'm only gonna use this and and basically limiting 
limiting the, the options are, that are available to me as I'm working uh, was a, an interesting thing to try out. And that's really, you know, I think the big key is, you know, that this idea of, I don't, I think the key word they're using, the key word that they're using in this, in the promotional material that sold me on this was this create anywhere, but I, I feel that what I really came to appreciate with this thing and then this, you know, this mindset of going out and, and drawing in just about any cool little spot that you can sneak up into, then it's more like react to anything because you know if you're bringing a sketchbook with you if you're bringing art supplies with you you are essentially going to react to the world and what does it change for you and your experience if you are out on a walk and you always have at least the most simple necessities necessary for you in order to create something from what you are seeing what you are receiving from the world uh, is it something where you notice a, like a certain color scape because you have a simple watercolor setup with you or is it just something where you can you know manage the texture are you just you know enjoying the sensation of you know reacting to your eyes with you with your pencil and going for going with the pencil for you know a little walk across the page uh, and if you then have that, then what does that change for you? And I have some some footage because from me using the this nomad because I was like I really have to use it. And then just going out and and realizing that because that this is because it has this plate uh, that you can also just attach to any bag, uh, which is like a you know a, a, a plate that you can put a tripod mount to. So the idea is you put it on a tripod. But in reality, that just means that, you know, you can put it a nut on it. And then what I tried out was putting it on my bike. And while it wasn't a success to uh, draw while biking, it led up to some interesting conclusions by, you know, just being able to stop and then, you know, take it off and get drawing and just get working and, and having that, like, be an immediate point of interest. Like, oh, I, I like this, I get off and I see this. And, of course, that's really, like, this idea of, you know, it, it, this only works this kind of idea of you know going out and responding to the world if, if you are somewhat alone where you, you can dictate your pace which is pleasant to do and then sit there and, and, and take your time with each thing that you are finding interesting and, and that's it so I think that if I could go back in time I would just see that and, and say well I already got a messenger back and I don't necessarily need that so I would just you know maybe upgrade some other thing, but I don't necessarily regret the fact that I did buy it. I, I, I like where it, it has taken me, and I like that now that I've you know come around from it, instead of thinking of having it as a whole studio space, or rather just you know, this, this point of interaction, and I can just bring it with me for a walk, even though Maybe I would prefer it being, being more of a bag when you're walking so it's more distributed across your back and, and not just focused on one shoulder. Uh, it, 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 it brightened up for me and, and became a really a brilliant little thing to, to have because it is something that is specific. Um, and then, you know, it's it has high quality materials but you know, because you can't really close it, like, I mean, you can open it on this side and then it has a big piece of Velcro that attaches so that it holds up together. Um, you know, it's, 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 this pre, it's this premium thing that feels good to, to touch and like, you know, it, it feels like it was cared for, but then you kind of like, you know, you use it and then some of the things just come a little bit undone and, and you know, you can definitely tell that this is a prototype. I haven't tried the actual product that they ended up releasing after they got all this feedback that they likely got from releasing this bag. Um, but if I did, I would probably, you know, compare them. I don't think I, I don't really need a second bag though at this point, so we'll see. But uh, that's the thoughts on this little satchel that I have, and like we'll keep we'll keep having. Um, Thanks for listening. 
And if you are interested in in buying a bag, I would say just f for a while, just try to bring a sketchbook with you and then some pencils, and like bring a big pocket and then just go and, and react to the world because that's really the, that's the use case scenario that, that this thing fits in and don't necessarily get sold on this idea of like, you know, if you, cause if you're gonna go to a coffee shop and then draw there, that's not gonna, that's not gonna be like, wow, this is where, this is where this kicks ass. This thing really rocks when you are like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna climb up in that tree. But then again, if you're sitting down, you know, you might as well just have a real bag with you so you can carry more supplies, like a little sandwich or something in case you get hungry. Uh, but then, you know, it's a neat little thing and, and you know, that's it. So it's like if, if you can spend it, spend that. I mean, like this basically costs the same as three tubes of paint. So it's, uh, it's fine in the end. And uh, that's it. It's a fine little thing. <laughs> And uh, that's my conclusion. So I'm just gonna sit and enjoy the view and react and and paint. <laughs>